But do you guys know this? I, I, well, I doubt of how that it shrank two feet in, um, that I, like, that it shrank two feet in 1934. No, it says here. However, the data show that the earthquake moved the mountain in its way. This will say that it moved two feet. Oh, yeah. In 1969. Well, it didn't change height, but it did move directly. Direct well, like it shrunk by 63 centimeters. And that's kind of a lot. After gathering data from sensors, scientists determined that Mount Everest did not change height due to the massive 7.8 magnitude earthquake and will continue to grow as its normal rate. Yes, but it also says in the last major in the last in the last major earthquake near Mount Everest in 1934, the mountain shrunk by six, 63 centimeters, which is almost two feet. So that's what I wrote down in my number. Well, Oh well, it did shrink two feet, but it didn't. It wasn't caused by the earthquake. In the last major earthquake near Mount okay. Everest, it shrunk. Though. They're saying scientists were curious if the earthquake had caused this. Then later they said Mount, because when they collected data, they said it did not change height due to the massive 7.8 magnitude earthquake. Yes, but I'm just so I'm just gonna write I'm writing in the notice because I noticed that in 1934 it shrunk. Oh yeah, so you're gonna see like why it shrunk? Yeah. No. I see lots of great questions, lots of people jotting down what the article gave, gave them. And I also see that Mount Everest is is so if it's not caused by the if it's not caused by the earthquake, then what would it be? What's not caused by the earthquake? The, so it shrunk two feet. Oh, no. Two feet? Yeah. Yeah, in 1934. But, um, almost two feet. But then they realized that when they collected the data that that wasn't, like the earthquake wasn't the reason why it shrunk. Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah. Okay. Right oh yeah. Wait. Okay. So the last major earthquake near Mount Everest in '34, the mountain shrunk by 63 centimeters. And then later, this they were curious if the earthquake had done this. And then this year, after gathering data from sensors, the scientists determined that Mount Everest did not change height due to the massive 7.8. Okay. So wait. Whoa, 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 wait. So the earthquake does make some changes, but the earthquake did not make the changes that transpired then. Yeah. I was gonna say that it grows like about it. It keeps Mount Everest keeps growing each year. Say more. Like I don't know how it does grow, but it just keeps growing. And after the earthquake, the mountain shrunk by 63 centimeters, almost two feet. Yeah, I was talking with Maya Taylor about that. That was back in the 1934 earthquake, right? Yeah. Great, but you said. It gets taller each year? What does that mean? It just grows. It grows. Interesting. And then you said what? And then, like, after the last major earthquake, it shrunk. Yeah, but then you said a question. You were like, I don't know what. How it grows. Yeah, isn't that odd? Wait, so mountain grows taller, right? At the same time, the mountain moves towards decks. And then at the same time during this event, it did what? It went what? Talk to me. We'll move back, right? Okay, cool. Anything else you guys found from the reading or anything like that? I've heard from these people, but I'd love to hear from somebody I haven't heard from. Oh, wait. Um, I heard um, I wonder what causes uh, Mount Everest to move. Oh, cool. Okay, great. So do we want to just jump to the wonders? Well, cool. You said what causes Mount Everest to move? Excellent. What else were we wondering about? Um, what causes it to shrink too? Yeah, like weird. It moves, it shrinks, Dex? Why did it go southwest? Why did it go southwest, right? When it was like perfectly happy, happy going northeast, right? Not that it's happy, but I'm not sure. Go ahead, Miles. So if we're still like alive, like humans, in a billion years, if it keeps on growing, they get like to the height of the moon. <laughs> I don't know. That's a really interesting question. Interesting. Margaret? Um, isn't the tallest 
So like, how does this relate? I'm confused. Because it says that Everest is the tallest mountain in the world, but I've read at Queens and other places, I've read that the tallest mountain in the world is actually an underwater, under, underwater volcano by um, Hawaii. Does anybody have a question about what Margaret just said? Because I thought this was all about Everest. Tip? Great, I don't know. That's a great wonder. Did you write it down? Yeah. Olivia? Well, I, mean, I think we're talking about above sea level. That's under sea level. So we talk about on the earth. Like, still on the earth, like on um, the earth. Yeah. Like, what are those? Like, tunnel plates are the things that cause earthquakes on volcanoes. So let me just make sure I heard this right. Olivia, you're saying this has nothing to do, like what Margaret's bringing up is below sea level, but Everest is above sea level. Mm -hmm. So when it's above sea level, it's a mountain. When it's below sea level, it's a what? Okay. A volcano. Okay. Yeah, I'm just as confused as you are. 